One of the things that I hate about show business are the hanger oners that attach themselves to celebrities like leeches. Ugh. They don't have the courage to go for it themselves. I hate them. Not only that, but those hanger oners get resentful and have great contempt. I arrived to Hollywood from Harlem so excited to work with artists, actors, and agents. But after being here a few weeks, I realized that too much sun, surf, and salsa had made the Hollywood community crazy and they had lost their common sense. So I'm on a mission to put common sense back into Hollywood one vlog at a time. I am Lydia Nicole, your common sense mamita. When I was 17 and worked at WBLS in New York, I got to hang out with Michael Jackson a few times. On one occasion, I was invited to go to the rap party of The Wiz, which was filming in New York. The rap party was held at a Chinese restaurant in Midtown Manhattan. I got there early, because you know that's what I do. And when I got there, I was escorted to where Michael Jackson's entourage was. Michael hadn't arrived yet, but his party of 20 was sitting there ordering drinks and eating appetizers. I didn't know anybody and they weren't very friendly. So I just sat there awkwardly while they were all talking about how Michael Jackson didn't know how to comb his hair. And before I could stop myself, I blurted out, why don't you tell him how to comb his hair? And they all looked at me like I had just said something bad about their mama. And then they just went back to bad mouthing Michael. About 20 minutes later, Michael finally came in and I could see that the sides of his afro were all mashed in. So I innocently walked up to him and asked him if he had a pick, that he should go to the bathroom and comb his hair. He too looked at me like I had said something bad about his mama, and then he had the nerve to tell me he was fine. And I said, okay, well, if you think so, all right. And I walked away. And about two minutes later, he came up behind me and confessed, I don't know how to comb my hair. So I took him in the men's bathroom where he said to me, you're not supposed to be in here. And I said, Michael, I could be anywhere I want. I proceeded to comb his hair and showed him how to pick out his sides. And all of a sudden, some guy walked in and I made him get out. As soon as we finished, we proceeded to go back out to where the entourage was. And they all gasped. Oh, Michael's hair was combed. That was my first encounter with hanger honors and entourages. And let me tell you something. If you have people hanging around you that won't tell you the truth and let you go outside looking raggedy, those people are not your friends. You need to cut them loose. That's all the time I have for you today. Until next time, show some love. Like, follow, comment, share, and subscribe to everything Common Sense Mamita. And hashtag Make Sense Comment. Hey, Common Sensor, I would love for you to share any of your Common Sense nightmare stories with us. You can do it anonymously or you can expose the culprit directly. We would love to hear all about it. And if you would like, you can even send us video clips of people lacking common sense or you talking about some juicy common sense faux pas. Whatever you want to do, we would love to get it via Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You can even send it to commonsensemamita at gmail.com. Keep sense common. Make That's not common. right. I, I knew that. Uh -huh. Enter. I, I was escorted. Oh, and, um, and, um, and uh, let me just start that again. I totally blew that. I hate them. It's about Michael, people. It's about Michael.